Awesome. This is actually a really old school team. Like it uses the Gilnean Raven. Um, what nature is this? It's a balance balance variety. Okay, cool. So that's not that. It's not that bad. Uh, so Gilnean Raven, Flet, uh, Fiendish Imp, and Fosling. So we have a great matchup versus the Imp here. Um, I actually think I just want to start off with my Shore Butterfly because it's faster than everything. All right. So we're faster than the Imp. He can totally put up an Immolate. I don't think that that matters because I think I just want to Sandstorm. Uh, cocoon strike and switch i think i want to just open up with a cocoon strike i want to see if he leaves in like an auto attack because if he goes for the nether gate right now we're fine Ah, damn damn what a misplay from me sorry we'll just go for a sandstorm because this nether gate's gonna hit hard we just hard switches cool all right so we can just we can technically stand here but i think it's probably a better idea to switch off to uh voice card Anubis south so right now we're playing a sandstorm team and Sandstorm does not work the same way that it does uh, in Pokemon. It does not work the same way. Man, that did a lot. That did quite a bit of damage. He's going to go for a dot. We're going to retake away his weather. Get him nice and low. And then hopefully we can finish him off with one of these. Hopefully it's not a low roll. Might have to go for a two shot. Oh, he's actually hard switches. That's smart. Yep, but this is super effective because it's, uh, it's magic. Good morning. I could put up a Creeping Insanity on this thing and then Hard Switch and go for a Deflect, but I think it's just more damage to go for two of these and save the Creeping Insanity dot for his Fiendish Imp. Yeah. But Sandstorm doesn't work the same way it does in Pokemon. In WoW, WoW, it reduces the damage all pets take by 75 and then their accuracy is used by 10%. So like Sandstorm is usually made to be used on like bulkier pets. And then we'll actually just get the KO here. Yeah, all of us are pretty much still at full. Like, Triple Sandstorm is, like, super good. Oh, we just missed. Absolutely never lucky. That actually really sucks. That was a bad miss for me. Can I not miss again? Awesome. Awesome. All right, we are still alive. Um, we don't outspeed any of these, so it doesn't really matter. I want to see if he goes for the Nether Gator, if he just is going to attack. Yeah, he just attacks. It's completely fine. Man, that miss really did cost me, though. That's going to be quite hard to deal with. He's going to re-put um, up his dot this turn. So, like, I'm going to try and Sandstorm. Oh, it just opens up with another gate. No, he doesn't. That was just a basic attack, wasn't it? Yeah, he just goes for a burn. I think that's okay. He's eventually going to have to re-put up that dot, I think. But if I wake him waste this nether gate, I, like, win. Damn it! That's the second time that happened. Yeah, we're doing pet battles today. I keep wasting turns doing that, man. It's fine. He's gonna go for a sunlight here. We wanna come in here. This guy's actually still playing pretty well. So sunlight, again, changes the weather. This thing is a really hard pet to deal with if you don't have, like, ability to change weather. Otherwise, he just outheals your whole team. Yep. I'll go for a cocoon strike. He already has his dot up. Might as well just get free damage to stick. See if he wastes another gate. Yes, finally. Waste that nether gate. We actually don't do that much. Humanoids have a really good passive. Um, they recover 4% of their health if they deal damage this turn. So, like... Really good passives on those things. But we're just waiting so we can come in with our uh, Anubis South Idol and win the game. There he goes. Big crit from him. And we should be able to... I actually, I'm happy that I waited out the Sandstorm. Because now, like, I can't even miss. Um, and I just go 666 for 641. There's no damage reduction and we got the win. Wins up. Bam. Ubisoft Idol busted. But people are talking about like common cores. Uh, weather plays completely different in pet battles. There's a bunch of different types in pet battles. And, uh, you know, overall, it's still a lot of fun. I think Sandstorm is a really, really solid core. Just for fighting like most opponents though. Triple Bone Serpent. And they have a lot of super effective attacks versus, uh, versus this board. But I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. Because we have a super effective attack against them, too. 
So we can just immediately go into the Sandstorm. I think it's probably a better idea to go for a Cocoon Strike, though. Just because it's like a it's like a Protect and a Dot. It's, imagine if, like... Oh, we actually went for the U-turn. Huh. We are going to be faster, so it's like we'd just be wasting a turn here. That's fine. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, Cocoon Strike. Yeah, that's really weird how that actually still blocked that attack. I've never actually seen that interact that way. Uh, we're still faster than them, so we might as well go for an attack and save our Sandstorm to reapply after he... Yeah, he's going to call Darkness here. It's not going to do that much. Uh, we still outspeed, and then we just finish him off with the Sandstorm. Bone Serpent's very... Uh, it's We're fighting the same guy right now, so that's why, like, the Bone Serpent looks to be so popular. We just keep fighting some guy that really likes Bone Serpent. He's going to call Darkness here, so we're going to block the cooldown with a Cocoon Strike. Yep. Cocoon Strike's so good. It deals damage and gives you a 100% chance to block an attack. It's, like, super, super good. Nice. I think this is fine. I almost want to say I should still save this thing. This is super effective against Aquatics. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to switch in to, like... I'm just going to save my pet because Flying Pets deal a uh, double... They deal... They have double speed when they're above half. So, like, it's just worth saving that thing right there. And then we can finish off with... Uh, ooh, this can low roll. That sucks. Oh, he goes for it. He gets miss. Awesome. So what's really cool here is uh, this pet deals 227 to 423. So we actually have the high roll. Undead pets come back. Uh, they turn their KO. They all have like a sash, but they deal 25% less damage. We're just going to actual pop a double protect here. Like an actual, not double, but an actual protect. He actually went for a hard switch. That's kind of weird. I think that's fine. I wonder if he's going to lift off. I don't actually mind just going for a crush. It's almost like a play of the game. That's actually a really good play. Because he's trying to use fly. Like, literally the move fly to bait my cooldown. And uh, it's not going to work. He's going to hit us. It's going to do a decent amount. But then he's going to land and just take a crap ton of damage. Yep. 666. Six, six. And we restore some health. That's so good for me. Yeah, you can go for the Call Darkness. It's fine. He's the one taking big damage. I wonder if I should just... These are all cool. If I actually deflect here, um, he's going to be super sad. Watch. So he's gonna... these are the only two moves he can use right now. There is a cooldown on them. And now he has all of his moves are stuck on cooldown. So like imagine if Pokemon had cooldowns. That's pretty much what this game is. He's going to come in here and lose this. Oh, he's at two. That actually really sucks. Damn. Almost. That was still close, though. We, we are still going to be fine, I think. Uh, how much damage does the Cocoon Strike do? 132. Still has both of those big attacks left. I think it's still better to bring out this guy. Because we'll just be able to proc the passive and then Cocoon Strike away next turn, maybe. Yeah, both Undeads are really popular, though, because they have that, like, built-in Focus Sash. Oh, he's, oh, he's doing that? That's fine. Perfect. And then we win. Triple Bone Serpent guy. Never even heard of it. We actually have to do this just to proc the passive. Boom. Oh, and we crit. Yo, you'll love to see it. Yo, I love it when you beat the... Like, this team that we're fighting against with a Triple Bone Serpent is, like, super degenerate. Like, this guy's, like, trying to cheese the game so hard. And I love it when we beat, like, cheese teams through just, like, safe standard play. It's almost like I play Battle Pets, like, completely different really from the way I play Pokemon. Triple Bone Swimmer guy, he wants that run back. That's fine. Yeah, good luck, my guy. I'm just gonna go for a straight up, like, attack. 396 is strong. Now, I'm actually curious about how this works. Like, this, this still might give me a chance to block. I want to see. I'm actually just curious how this mechanic works. Do, do I still get my block? I do. Awesome. Even if I... That's so good. It's like actually really, really nice. And so we just want to save our Sandstorm. We want to wait until they call Darkness and just Sandstorm him. Oh, he crit me! Oh, that's really bad. That's like really, really bad. That sucks. Like getting crit there is the absolute worst. 
It's like, we just lost our butterfly. I did not want to lose this. Alright, cool. I didn't actually lose it, but I'm gonna lose it. We might as well just save it. Switch out into... I think I'm gonna switch the Void Scarred and actually just put up a dot. That's fine. Damn. That sucks. Because I went for a big dot there. Oh well, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. 465 is a lot, but... Yeah, that crit on our butterfly. If As long as we don't miss anything in these sandstorms or the uh, call darknesses, we're going to be in a good spot. It's making me waste my... Oh, I just missed my freaking sandstorm. Are you freaking kidding me? 10% chance to miss. That's going to be game probably. That sucks, man. That, that does suck quite a bit. Yeah, we'll see, but it's not looking too good. Right now he's on cooldown on everything, but like that still is really bad. What's Call Darkness do? Call Darkness sets the weather. I missed again! Are you real? It makes healing reduce 50% and axe reduce by 10. So that's like actually probably like the worst thing ever. That was, that's probably the- I just double- I had two 10% chances to miss and I did. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'll see if we can get something done here, but I'm not feeling it. I want to see him blow a good, a big cooldown here. So we're blocking the fly. Hit my move. I wonder if he's going to sandstorm. Or sorry, I wonder if he's going to call darkness. I'm still faster, so it's like, I need to stick this damage. Call darkness. I'm actually happy that he's calling darkness. Because like, I need to be able to deal the max amount here. And so I'm going to jab. Do I need to jab? What's this thing at back here? It's at 520. I need to sandstorm. Because like jab can low roll that and he's going to heal. So let's sandstorm here. Can he get a heal off? He's still within range for sandstorm. Awesome. Awesome. And then we're going to pop a protect on the turn that they die at the end of the turn. So undead pets return to life immortal for one round but are killed and deal 25% less damage. So we'll pop a dodge. It's fine. And then it's all up to, like, can we 1v1 this guy? The fact that he's going for those actually almost helps me out. Because it's just letting me get my cooldowns back. Awesome. So let's see. Yeah, I just gotta go for this. Uh, as long as you don't miss, I think we got it. Oh, that's a good heal. That's smart. Okay. If I deflect here, I block the call darkness because he has to use it because there's cooldowns. That's one of the strength. That's one of the weaknesses of the bone serpent. Like they're very susceptible to that type of damage. As long as I don't miss my move, I think I got it. Awesome! We missed so many moves this game. We were still able to win. Yo, feels bad for this guy. Feels bad using his super degenerate team, and we're still able to get those wins.